Ayan, so once again, good morning or good afternoon and good evening to those who are doing this at night. Uh, I hope that you would be able to, again, manage your time and be able to attend our classes dun sa mismo schedule natin, no? So, sana masanay na kayo na pagka MW, 9 o'clock, dun kayo kagawa ng uh, lessons and activities natin, MW, 9 o'clock, no? And as much as possible, all, all the things that I am sending you is just meant for one and a half hour per day, okay? Uh, so, hindi dapat tayo mag-overwork, wala siguro magsasabi na andayin masyadong activity. Yes, uh, by number, we would be having a lot of activities in this coming days. Uh, but as you can see, ang ating activities naman ay hindi inaabot ng pagkahaba-haba, ano? Okay. So, those activities also serve as a part of the lesson, part of the discussion na din as we discuss the answers. No? So, ituloy ko lang yung ating lesson on relations. Dito naman tayo sa lesson ng uh, subtopic niya which is partition. Okay? So, ano ba pag sinabi nating partition? Okay. Think of a Tagalog word for partition. Okay. So, kung nakaisip ka na, the word partition, parang parte-parte, no? Diba? Parang hinati-hati. Okay? That's what partitions mean. Parang ginlupings kayo, no? Okay? So, a partition or quotient set of a non-empty subset A is a collection P of non-empty subsets of A such that each element of A belongs to one of the sets in P. Now, if A sub 1 and A sub 2 are distinct elements of P, ay kung magkakaiba daw ang elements ni A1 at ni A2, then A sub 1 intersection A sub 2 should be empty. Okay? O nga naman, pagka nga naman magkakaiba ang elements, magkakaiba ang laman nito, wala silang pagkakapareho, wala silang intersection. Okay? The sets in P are called blocks or cells. Yan, sige, gawa tayo ng example, no? So, meron tayong partition P with A1, A2, A3, A4 of set A into 4 blocks. So, itong set A, pinalte-palte, pinartition natin into 4 blocks. Okay? So, pag ba ginlupings ko kayo or pagka hinati-hati ko kayo, ano yung kadalasang magiging role? Sige. Uh, yes or no question. Okay. Pagka ba sa groupings, pwede ba yung group 5 or yung isang group walang student? Siyempre, hindi pwede, no? Uh, so, kagaya nga ng sabi dito sa so number 1, each element of A belongs to one of the sets in P. Hindi pwedeng walang laman ng isang group. At the same time, Hindi pwedeng may hindi kasali. No? Hindi pwedeng ay exempted, hindi kasali sa activity, hindi kaga, hindi kasali sa grouping si Kento. No. Okay? So, that is what number one means. Aside from that, so kunyari na maglalagay ako dito ng mga elements. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ayan, kunyari. Pag pinartition natin yan, hinati-hati natin, as you can see, wala sa kanilang nag-share ng parehong element. Ang 1 and 2 ay dito lang. Ang 5 and 4, dito lang. 3 and 6 and 10, dito lang. 7, 9 and 8, dito lang. Unlike yung sets natin in the previous lesson, meron silang intersection. Meron dito sa gitna. Now, in partitions, wala. Dapat silang intersection, walang nasa gitna. Yan. So, sana klaro yung ating definition. And again, lahat dapat kasali sa partition. Lahat ng element. So, try natin tong activity 5. Okay. Let A or set A have the elements A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H with the following subsets. Meron tayo A, G, C, D, E. Ito daw yung iba't ibang groupings or subsets ni set A. Ayan. C, D, E. F, H, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E, G, X, Y, Z. Okay. Sige. 
Now, my question here is, which is not a partition and why? Tingnan natin yung elements ni set A1, uh, ni subset A1 and subset A2. AG at saka daw CDE. Parang partition to ah. Tingnan natin. Now, distinct elements, no? Mag wala sa kanilang nag intersect Wala sa kanilang magkapareho. Ito, check. Are all the elements of A in this partition? Si A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and dito ba? Hindi. Okay? So, this is not a partition. Bakit? Because some elements, okay, anong elements yung wala? Because B, C, D, E, F, G, H are not in the partition. Okay? So, isulat nyo na ng ayos. A1 and A2 is not a partition because some elements of A are missing. Because elements B, F, and H are missing. Okay? Sige, try natin tong A sub 3 and then A sub 5. I want you to think of it yourself muna. Bago ko ibigay ang tamang sagot. Okay, so again, please feel free to pause this video, speed up or slow down para ma-adjust ninyo sa kung ano mang kaya ninyong pacing. Okay? Ayan, sige. Uh, Napag-isipan nyo na ba ang sagot or naisulat nyo na yung sagot ninyo? Don't forget to please do take notes and write. Okay, again, please have complete notes. Huwag yung basta-basta sa yellow pad, ha? No. Ay, okay. Patik natin. Ayan. So, sulat muna natin ang elements ni A sub 3 and A sub 5. We have FH. Tapos meron tayong A, B, C, D, E, G, X, Y, Z. May intersection? Wala. Okay, so, parang partition to ah. Lahat ba ng elements ni A? Lahat ng elements ni A nandito. Tingnan natin. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. May extra pa. So, tingin ninyo, if there are extra elements, all of the elements of A andito eh. So, kung may extra elements, so, tingin ninyo, partition. Okay, the answer there is, this is not a partition. Bakit? Saan nyo nakuha to? Okay, so our uh, rule is, yun lang sa A, diba? Subset of A lang. X, Y, and Z, subset ba ito ni A? Hindi. Okay, so ang reason natin dito, uh, elements X, Y, Z are not a subset of A. Okay, pwedeng ganyan symbols lang. Pwedeng isulat ninyo. Okay, some of you actually answer in Tagalog. So, okay lang. But try to make it in English. No? Okay, try natin tong kasunod. A sub 1, A sub 2, A sub 3, A sub 4. Again, pause this video if you need to answer muna. But let me give the answer now. So, I hope nirasyong nyo na lang yung video. Sulat natin yung elements. We have A, G, C, D, E. Hindi ko na nilalagay ng comma. F, H, B, C, D. Okay, so check natin. All of the elements of A naman nandito, no? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay, kompleto. Okay, but is this a partition? Hindi. Bakit? As you can see, some elements intersected. Ano yun? C, D. Okay? Biglang uh, merong intersection of C, D. Okay? Not because, okay? Uh, again, when we say partition, hindi pwedeng andun ka sa parehong grupo. No? Kaya nga, hati, hati eh. Okay? Because uh, A2, intersects A4. Itong A2 at saka A4 o oh, parehong may CD. 
A2 intersects A4. Saan? Sa C, D. Okay? Wala ng partition. So, do you see any combinations that we can consider a partition? Sige. Pag-isipan ninyo, tingnan yung mabuti. Uh, will there be any groups okay, that would make a partition? Ang rule natin, dapat lahat ng element present, walang umuulit, walang nag intersect Walang X pa. Okay, so, the answer is A sub 1, A sub 2, and A sub 3 are the partitions of set A. Tingnan natin ha. We have A, G, C, e, D, E, and we have F, H. Tingnan natin. Is this a partition ba? Mukhang hindi. Bakit? May kulang. D. So, mukhang wala ditong magkakaroon ng uh, partition. Except if we, siguro, uh, just for an example, add natin itong C. Ayan. So, kung ang gamitin natin ay set uh, A1, A sub 2, A sub 3, A sub 6. Kompleto na ba? A, sinusulat ko lang ulit yung element. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Ayan. So, if ever, okay, ito lang ha, just as an example. If there was still a subset A6 that contains only B, then this would become a partition. Bakit? Again, lahat ng element ni A and dito. Walang umuulit, walang nag intersect walang X pa. Okay? So, that is for partitions in activity 5. Okay. So, dito naman, uh, we have another activity. Medyo, uh, it's, medyo tawag dito. Everything under the sun. Okay? So, hindi ko ito tinuro but I am hoping that you know how to solve this problem. Okay? So, let me read it for you muna. Uh, activity 6 says, find X or Y so that the ordered pairs are equal. Okay? So, an ano lang ang, pap ang ilalagay mo dito para magkapareho sila? Okay? So, ano kaya to para maging pareho sila? Siyempre, pagtapat-tapatin. So, ang x dito ay 4. No? Ganun lang. So, try this one. Okay. I guess I will discuss the answers here next time. No? Para meron tayong chance for you to recite and to say your questions as well. Okay. By the way, paano kaya to? Walang symbol. So, this is the multiplication symbol kung natatandaan ninyo. And 3x plus 1. Again, PEMDAS. Oh, yeah. It's also possible to use words or objects, items. Hindi kailangan laging 1, 2, 3, x, y, z. Okay? Ayan, sige. Di sa isa, answer this problem. A car manufacturer makes three different types of frames and two types of engines. Okay? So, marami pong frames ng kotse. Sorry, itong pinili ko dahil amitami ko ang aking tatay. So, meron tayong micro na frame. We have a sedan and we have a hatchback. Okay. And then we have two types of engines, gas or diesel. List all possible models. Okay. I'll give one example. Yung kotse ko, it's a sedan na gas. So, ito, isang combination yan. Sedan, gas. Ano pa kaya ang possible combination? No? Sige, parang gagawa lang tayo ng combo meal dito, no? Except kotse. Okay? So, that's for activity 6. Please answer this and I'll be expecting you to answer in our next meeting. Okay? Yeah. So, hindi pa tutapos. Uh, we have another one. This is in addition to the graphs that we made. Diba? Meron tayong iba't ibang paraan to make pictorial representations of relations. And one of them is an undirected graph. 
recall muna natin kung tanda nyo pa kung paano ito na directed graph. Okay? So, I have here the elements. Di ko na nailagay. Pero elements natin ay 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay? So, can you try to make a directed graph in your uh, dito, in your notebooks? Okay? Before I reveal the answer. Okay? So, remember, so sulat ni muna 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then, lalagyan ng arrows. Okay. So, I'll assume once again that you have done making the direct graph. So, ito dapat maging itsura niya. No? So, 1, 2, 2, 1. 1, 2, 2, 1. 1, 3, 3, 1. 2, 3. 2, 3. 3, 2. Okay. Probably medyo nagka-double yata ako dito ng... Oh, hindi pala. Tama yun. 2, 4. 4, 2. Balik na lakas ako ng... 2, 4, 4, 2. 2, 5. 5, 2. 3, 4. 4, 3. 4, 5. And then, 5, 4. Okay. So, medyo, in a way, confusing. But instead, since it's a two-way trip naman siya, no? Parang ginagawa sa Google Maps, Okay. If mapapansin niyo sa Google Map, okay, if you would look at some directions, nakikita niyo yung mga one-way street sa Google Map. Pagka yung street na yun ay one-way, nakalagay yung direction. Okay? But if it's a two-way street, hindi nilagay ni Google Map kung anong direction. Wala ko yung mapapansin na ganito masyado. Instead, pagka walang arrows, parang matik na yan. It's a two-way street. Okay? So, let's try to interpret this. This is 1, 2, 2, 1. 1, 3, 3, 1. 2, 3, 3, 2. 2, 5, 5, 2. 2, 4, 4, 2. 3, 4, 4, 3. And 4, 5, 5, 4. Okay. Now, this is what we call the undirected graph. Okay. So, yeah. And as you can see, walang mga arrows. Because uh, we call this an undirected edge. Itong mga linyang to ang tinatawag natin edge if you still don't know it. And itong mga bilog ang tinatawag natin vertex. Pagka madami, we call them vertices. Yan. So, yan. so please do take note of this. Makisulat. Please huwag tatama rin magsulat. Uh, at the end of the... Uh, before our final exam, okay, I will be collecting or I will be asking you to send these already, all of your notes and all of your uh, activities for final. Wala namang dul sa dulo na bigla na lang sisipot na parang kompute na. Saan pa rin ko magpasa at saka lang gagawa on the deadline? No. The purpose of this, okay, actually, hindi ko kailangan nga dapat to eh. No? Hindi ko dapat hindi naman kailangan na makita ko notes niyo because actually some of you learn may matalino talaga may photographic memory tipong titigan mo lang sa ulo na nila uh, but why do I require this? I'm currently having my masters and doing our research our studies yan so research ako na research panay research okay and I found out na Yung ating working memory, no? parang yung ating short-term memory, ay parang ganun. Uh, dalwa ang kanyang entry point. Isang audio at saka isang visual. Okay? So, yung utak natin mas nakaka-process. Okay? And in many other studies, napapansin na yung mga studyante na meron nang nakikita visually, sinusulat pa nila at napapakinggan, mas matataas ang score. Kumpara dun sa nakinig lang. Okay? So, hindi to requirement para mema lang kayong maipasa sa akin. No? This is really something that I am requiring you to do. Magsulat habang nakikinig kasi it's beneficial for you. No? So, wala sana akong makikita nagsusulat sa yellow pad paper o kaya sa kung saan ng notebook sa deadline para lang ma maipasa. Okay? O siya. Activity 7 na tayo. So, let A equals A, B, C, D, E. 
please draw the graph of a b b a a e e a e b c c b c d b c okay and using the figure below determine r okay so dito naman kabaliktaran no kanina ang given ay itong uh, relation mismo ay naka nakalista siya sa number 2 baliktad ay yun yung hahanapin niyo ngayon base dito sa picture Okay? Sige, uh, I won't be giving the answer to this one yet. Uh, let's leave it for uh, our next meeting. Okay? Okay, so dito na tayo sa path of length in digraphs. Pag sinabi natin length, baka isipin ninyo kailangan natin i-measure using a ruler or kung ano man, hindi po. Okay? When we talk about the path of length, okay, Iba siya. Alright? So, a path of length N, ipapalta natin to ng numbers later on, in R, from A to B is a finite sequence. So, from P, uh, P equals A, tapos punta dito, 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 hanggang sa dulo. Alright? Ang imagine ninyo, mga lakad nito ni Dora. Okay? So, si Dora, di ba, magmumula siya sa kanyang bahay? is A. Tapos gusto niyang puntahan, kunyari ay uh, itong B, kunyari uh, gusto niyang pumunta sa mall. Okay? Now, bago tayo makapunta sa mall, kung malapit ng bahay natin, isang diretso lang yan. Kung malayo ang bahay natin, hin uh, hindi lang naman mall ang ating madadaan. Maraming makakadaan pa tayo sa park. Okay? So, itong ating F sub 1. Uh, mapapadaan pa tayo sa school. Ito yung ating, eh, sorry, ito yung ating X sub 2. Mapapadaan pa tayo sa Sampalok Lake. Ang X sub 2 natin. Bago pa tayo makarating sa mall. Okay? So, think of it as like uh, something like that. Ang length ay, again, hindi natin imemesyo na ilang meters. Pero, ang um, length natin ay kung ilan, kung kailangan pa natin daanan para makarating doon. Okay? Yeah, let me erase this muna. Yeah. So, it begins with A, kita nyo naman, and ending in B. Such that A is R related to X sub 1, plus X sub 1 is related to X sub 2, then X uh, sub N minus 1 is related to B. Okay? Kumbaga, May connection Parang uh, another analogy for this is yung mga magkakakilala. Okay? Yan. Uy, anong connection mo? Anong connection mo kay, uh, ano, kay, kay Juan? Si Juan ay, kunyari, girl, uh, boyfriend ni Juana. Okay. Itong si Juana ay pinsan ni uh, pangala, ni, ni Maria. Itong si Maria ay kaklase ni Marites. Okay? And itong si Marites ay kaklase ko. Okay? So, merong ganun, no? May relasyon yan. Okay? Ito kaklase. Si Juan ay boyfriend ng pinsan, ng kaibigan, ng classic. Yan, ganun. So, merong relation. In a way, they are related. Okay? So, piyay tayo ng example. Okay? So, P sub 1 equals 1, 2, 5, 5 4, 3. Okay. Hindi pa nag... Wait lang. Ha? Hindi lumabas yung... Wait lang. Ha? Um... Hindi lumabas yung graph natin. Sige, ilipat ko lang siglet ito. Dito, ayan. Sige, ulitin ko lang. Ayan. Sige, let me erase Marites and friends. Okay. So, ito yung ating isang uh, directed graph. 1, 2, 5, 4, 3. Gusto kong makarating ng 3, pero gusto kong daanan to. Okay. So, 1, 2, 
five, four, three. Okay? It says that P sub 1 equals 1, 2, 5, 4, 3 is a path length of 4. Again, ano yung 4? Ilan yung edge na dinaanan? Bilangin natin. 1, 2, 5, 4, 3. Meron tayong isa, dalawa, tatlo, apat na path na dinaanan. What about 1, 2, 5, 1? 1, 2, 5, 1. Meron tayong tatlong dinaanan. Okay? Or what about what about 2, 2? We took time na bahay. So, you have a path length of 1. Okay? Now, if you notice, itong example natin na to, 1, 2, 5, 1, umikot lang siya. And pag umikot lang siya, well, it doesn't necessarily have to be a circle, but we call that a cycle. Pag umikot lang, so nagsimula sa 1, natapos sa 1, a path that begins and ends at the same vertex is what we call a cycle. In this case, hindi kailangan na ang cycle ay bilog, na ito lang. Basta umikot, pabalik. Okay? Basta bumalik sa pinagsimula. We call that a cycle. Okay? So, yan. Activity 8. So, list all paths of length 1. Okay, bigay ako ng isang example, no? Ibase, ibase natin dito sa picture dito. Length 1. So, pwede ito. 1, 2. So, please, maganda kung i-drawing ninyo and then uh, markahan ninyo para malaman ninyo. Ay, nailista ko na to. 1, 2. Okay, ano pa? Sige, bigay pa akong isa pa. I have another one. 6, 4. Mga isa-isa lang ang length niya. And marami pa? Please list that down for activity 8. Number 2, name a path of length 3 starting from vertex 3. Okay, start daw tayo sa vertex 3. Yung dadaan tayo sa tatlong linya. Okay? So, bigay ako ng isa siguro, no? 3, okay. 1, 2, 3. Ayan. So, length 3 yun. Nagsimula ako sa vertex 3. Okay? What else? Uh, Let's start daw sa vertex 3. Okay? 1, 2, 3. Okay. So, Paano natin isusulat yan? So, isusulat, isusulat nyo lang yung mga nadaan ng vertex. So, 3, 4, 1, 6. Please take note of the directions. Kaya nga, directed graph yan. Eh. Hindi tayo pwedeng dumaan dito sa 3, 2. Bakit? Wala namang pagano na arrow eh. Okay? And number 3, find a cycle starting at vertex 6. Uh, I won't be giving this out. I won't give the answer para... Uh, Ma matuto kayo matuto. No? So, again, this activity would be answered in our next meeting. No? Yan. So, if you need a health break, a mental break, or kailangan nyo uminom ng tubig, don't hesitate to pause this video kasi asynchronous naman tayo eh. Ang kagandahan sa asynchronous eh, you can do it at your own pace. Kung kailangan nyo bagalan, eh di bagalan nyo. Kung kaya nyo bilisan, i-times to ninyo ang speed at magdire-diretso kayo in one sitting, that's also okay. But now, I will assume that nakapag-mental health break na kayo or kung anong break man ang kailangan nyo. Or you might be resuming this video immediately. Next lesson natin is on function. Okay? Balikan ko lang yung ating problem about the pigeon. Uh, some people don't really realize uh, the importance kung ano ngayon kung may dalawang kalapate na mag-share ng isang bahay. Hindi importante yung ibon. Ang mahalaga is the way that you would be thinking. Again, ano yung conclusion natin sa pigeonhole principle? In your own words, paano daw pagka mas madami yung ibon 
kesa doon sa lalagyan. Simpleng sagot, eh di pagkakasyahin yung dalawa sa isang lalagyan. Pagkakasyahin ang tatlo sa isang lalagyan. Okay? So, what's the concept behind that? Remember, uh, the pigeonhole principle states that kung mas marami yung ilalagay, eh di at least bawat container or at least isang container ay eh magdodoble o triple o mag-aatatan. Okay? So, at least one container must contain more than one item. Another one is yung sa birthday. Kunyari merong walong tao. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and uh, 8. Okay, meron daw walong tao. And gusto nating malaman kung saan pumapatak ang birthday nila. Kung Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Ano agad ang makukonclude ninyo? For sure, merong at least isang araw na mayroong higit sa isa ang magbe-birthday. Okay, let's just assign, kunyari na, kunyari itong mga to, iba-iba uh, ng birthday yan. Paano itong isa? Siyempre, magbe-birthday pa din, no? Pero, kunyari, Saturday din siya. Again, pigeonhole principle states that at least one container or at least one item, at least one day, should have more than one birthday celebrant. Okay? So, what if walang merong birthday ng Monday? O, oh, edi all the more na merong ilan pang container, ilan pang araw na merong higit sa isa na celebrant. Okay? Now, what's that for? Okay, so, dito na tayo. Pinakita ko ito. So, ito yung scenario kanina. Pagka labis, edi may mag-share ng bahay. Kung sakto, edi wala mag-share ng bahay. Kung labis yung bahay, edi okay. No problem. No? May mababakante ng bahay. But is this possible na yung isang kalapati daw nasa dalawang bahay? Pwede ba yun? Okay. Well, of course, it's not allowed. Okay? So, that is what functions are. Kung tandaan nyo ang function. This is a function. This is a function. Pero kung ito, kung merong uh, kalapati dito na merong dalawang bahay, at the same time, this is not a function. Yeah. So, sana tanda pa kung ano ang function. A function is a special type of relation. Okay. Medyo madugo ang ilan sa ating mga definition, pero mahalaga, intindihin nyo ito kahit Tagalog, intindihin nyo base sa kung ano yung binibigay kong hint sa inyo. Okay? So, let A and B be non-empty sets. A function from A to B, ito ang pagkakasulat, Function from A to B is a relation from A to B such that all elements A is an element of the domain and F of A contains only one element of B. Okay. Para mas madali, ito, ibig sabihin nito ay domain. Diba? Tanda ba din nyo, we talked about domain and range. Okay. Yung domain, yung mga first element. Yun yung mga X. Ayan, dito yung mga F. Tapos, dito yung range. Dito yung mga R. Okay? It contains only one element of B. So, hindi pwedeng uh, greedy. Hindi pwedeng saka. Okay? Isa, isa lang ang pwede mong kapartner. Okay? O kaya, maaaring ganito, no? Erase ko lang ito. Hindi pwede yung dalawa ang pagmamayari mo. Okay? Sa function. Hindi pwede yung dalawa ang pagmamayari mo. Pero pwede, nag-share kayo sa isang bagay. Ayan o. Pwede ganyan. Okay? So, for example, no? Ito yung common example natin. 
kunyari ang domain natin is yung nanay. Si nanay 1 at saka si nanay 2. Ay, syempre, let's talk about biological, no? Hindi ka sa mga ampon. Okay? But anyways, okay, uh, lagay natin si anak 1, or si bata 1, si 2, si 3, si 4, si 5. Si nanay, maaaring may tatlong anak. Nanay ko, maaaring may dalawang anak. Is this a function? Hindi ito function. Dahil it shares multiple kids. Pero, kung balik pa rin natin, kung ang nasa domain natin ay yung mga anak, si 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, at ang range natin ay yung mga nanay, si nanay 1 at saka si nanay 2, at na they share one mother. Itong tato, they share one mother. Si 4 and 5, they share one mother. So, this is a function. This one is not a function. Ano pa? Sige, sa usapang magjowa, okay? So, kunyari, ito si boyfriend. At ito si girlfriend. Uh, boyfriend 1, 2, and 3. Ito si girlfriend 1, girlfriend 2, girlfriend 3. Now, hindi naman pwede na itong si boyfriend o itong si laki ay madaming girlfriend. This is not a function. Okay? Uh, relation lang sa but not a function. Hindi siya pwede. Okay? Medyo mali pala ito, no? Uh, this is a function pagka isa-isa. Okay? So, of course, uh, in real life, bawal po na Multiple girlfriends, no? Medyo malipal ako dito sa isang to. But this is an example of a function kung one is to one. Yes. Pupunta tayo sa types of uh, functions. Ito pala, meron pala ako dito. Okay. Sige, tingnan natin. Ang one is to one ba function? Yes. Kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina para yung mag-jowa mag ay boyfriend girlfriend. Eh, ang many to one. Yung kagayang example ko, uh, iba't ibang anak nag-share ng isang nanay. This is still a function. Pero dito, yung nanay sa mga anak. This is not a function. Okay? Yung many to many, this is also not a function. Yung mga polygamy, yan. Okay? So, these are not functions. So, this is also called mappings or transformation. Since they can be viewed as rules or process sa iba, that assign to each element. The element is called an argument of the function f, and f of a is called the value of the function. Okay? So, actually, iba't ibang uh, term lang, but this is basically the domain and the range. Yun lang din yun. Okay, sige. Tingnan natin, no? We have L and M, that's L and M. And the question is, which is a function, which is not, and how can you say so? So, yan. Mayroon akong iba't iba ditong function. Pwede nyo uh, i-drawing, i-ano nyo pa, tawag dito, i-graph nyo pa, or arrow correspondence, pero kung kaya nyo mentally, why not? Okay? Yan, try natin i-drawing tong una. I, ang mga domain niya ay 2, 4. Yun lang ang domain niya. 2, 4. Ang mga range ay 0, 1, 3, 2. 0, 1, 3, 2. Okay. I-match natin. 2, 0. 4, 1. 4, 3. 2, 2. Okay. Tingnan ninyo. Is this a function? Okay. This is not a function. Bakit? Because, okay, some elements of the domain have two corresponding values. Yan. Have two corresponding range. Okay. Try natin tong F. 
second, 2, 4, 6. Zero lang ang ginamit. Function o hindi? Hindi. Uh, same reason because uh, the domain okay, share one uh, value. What about, uh, ay hindi, wait lang. Ayan, so sa tingin mo, uh, range ba, uh, range ba ito? Sa tingin nyo, anong klaseng function ba ito? Okay, kagaya ng pinakita ko kanina. Yeah, ano ulit ang rule natin when we say function? Diba? Pwedeng function pala ito. Okay, this is a function because, yan, kabalik tara nitong isa, no? Naduling na ako, nabalik na ako. Kabalik na rin itong isa, itong isa, madaming range. Itong isa, yung range, madaming domain. Yun, nalito na din ako, no? So, this is a function. Okay? Because uh, they do not share, okay, it does not share, uh, okay, when we say share, it does not share, kanyari ito, no? Yan. Walang nag-share sa isang domain. Okay? I-erase ko na ito. So, yung last one, yung P. 2021. Okay, dito ko ilagay. Puro ito naman ang ginamit eh. So, 0, 1, 2, 3. 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. Okay, pwede ba ito? Now, ito ang hindi function. Okay? Bakit? See, mas madali siguro kung gawin natin to. Let's consider functions as input-output relations. Okay, so malamang sa malamang nakagawa na kayo ng ilang program, nakagamit na kayo ng Excel, and alam nyo naman na when using programs or using Excel, naggawa kayo ng formula, isa lang ang tagot. Pwedeng pare-parehong nilalag... Pwedeng pare-pareho, iba-iba nilalagay mong input, pero possible na pareho ang output. Let me give an example, no? Ang input ko ay uno. Ang naging output, pasado. Ang input ko, dos. Nilagay ko sa Excel, dos. Ang lumabas ay pass. Okay? So, as you can see, magkakaiba, pero pareho ng result. Pwede yun, no? Pero hindi pwedeng dalawa ang kalalabasan ng uno. Fast and fail. Hindi pwede yun. Okay? So that's what it means. Okay? Now usually gumagamit tayo ng mga math equations. Kasi yun naman yun eh. Kagaya ng ginawa ko sa grades niyo, no? Uh, Input-output function ang nangyayari sa pagkocompute ng grades niyo, Okay? But it's a long equation. Yeah. So consider functions as input-output relations. The function of x equals x plus 3. What if itong mga to ay i-input ko? Ayan. So, uh, I hope you remember your high school lesson. Papaltan lang natin ito. So, try natin pong sagutan. Yung x, papaltan lang natin ito. If our x is negative 2, so replace natin, negative 2 plus 3 is 1. What if negative 1? Negative 1 plus 3, I 2. What if 0? 0 plus 3 equals 3. What if 3? So 3 plus 3 equals 6. What if 5? 5 plus 3 equals 8. Okay? Medyo 1 to 1 function ito, no? Pero siguro next time in the other examples, you would see na iba-iba. Uh, ang lumalabas na sagot. Okay? Ayan. And dati ginagraph pa ninyo. So, negative 2, 1. Negative 1, 2. 0, 3. 3, 6. 5, 8. Medyo lampas na, pero sige, dito yan. Kung mapapansin niyo you can do a straight line. So, hindi straight ang linya ko. Pero sa diretso dapat yan. And that is a function. Okay? Ayan. So, makikigawa ito.
Sana tanda pa kung paano gumawa ng Cartesian plane. Okay? Ayan. Ito, types of functions. Okay? Diyan sa types of functions, meron tayong apat. Uh, minsan tatlo lang kinoconsider, pero discuss ko na yung apat. Una sa lahat yung one-to-one, -one, yung pinakita ko sa inyo. Another word for that is injective. Okay? So, each element of the codomain is mapped to by at most one element of the domain. Meron tayo dito word na at most. Ayan. Okay? So, for example, um, I have one, two, three. I have A, B, C, D. At most lang daw. Okay? At most. Ibig sabihin, pinakamadami na ang isa. Gaya nito. Ito. Pinakamadami na ang isa. Pero pwedeng may wala. It's one to one. Okay? Many to one. So, kagaya ng example ko kanina. So, pwedeng madami dito. Sa isang to. We have the on to or the surjection. Each element of the codomain is mapped to by at least one element of the domain. Okay? So, kagaya nitong many to one. Okay? At least, hindi bababa sa isa. Okay? Each element of the codomain is mapped to by at least one element of the domain. And the last one is the invertible or the bijective. Each element of the codomain is mapped to by exactly one element of the domain. Itong invertible ay parang one-to-one. -one. Okay? But what is the difference? Meron ditong word na exactly one. So, kailangan bawat isa meron. Hindi pwedeng may wala. Unlike this. Okay? So, ano naman tong surjection? So, kagaya ito ng many to one. Okay? So, yan. Dito, hindi pwedeng may wala. Okay? Kasi at least one. Gaya nito. Ito, hindi ito surjection kasi meron ditong nawalan. Eh, at least one element dapat meron. Okay? So, dapat mapagbigyan lahat. Right? So, we have one to one or the injective. Pwede, uh, other word for this is injection. Or kahit anong gamitin nyo. Surjection or surjective. Ayan. Bijective, bijection. Ayan. Ito yung other words natin for this one. Sige. So, let's try to determine the type of function shown below. Uh, but I think I'll be giving the answers in the next meeting na ulit. Para meron naman tayo mapag-usapan, meron tayong mapag-awayan. Right? So, we'll go to the last page. Okay? Last part. Hindi pa lang isama dito. No? Okay. Uh, the last part of this one is simply you have to tell me, hindi lang isa, okay? but what are the possible types of functions being shown here? Okay? So, siguro dito ko na lang pala i-end yung ating lesson because, uh, we have what we call a computerized way of showing functions. Pero hindi ko na ito sinama dahil it might be different depending on the language that we use or on the program that we use. So just to avoid confusion or the other terms that your next teachers might be telling you, so I'll leave it up to them. Okay? Ang mahalaga alam niyo na itong mga terminologies na ito. Okay, so we'll be resuming our G-Meet on Monday or Tuesday, depending sa ating schedule. So I hope that you would be watching this this May 4 and 5. Ayan. Okay, so hindi, tagal ko nang hindi na meet yung iba. But still, wag sanang makalimot. Okay, and I hope that you will still be active sa ating recitation. No? 
sabi ko nga ay bumawi daw eh. Marami-rami akong tatawagin because we did a lot of activities for the past few days. Okay? So, yun lang. Thank you so much and good luck with your activities. Bye!